Hooray, the contest has finally ended. I've got all the names in a bag. It's time for Dr. Romano to pick the official winner. I'm just looking for him now. He told me he'd be out here today. I don't see him. Maybe he's over this way. He said he'd be working on some math. Oh, wait a minute. I think that is Dr. Romano. Dr. Romano, I've got the names of the winners for you to draw today. Okay, come on in. Okay, don't forget. Kids have been waiting. Got all the names in an official baggie, official hefty bag. Hooray. All right. Before we do the drawing, I want to do a little bit of math with you for a second. I get a lot of emails and I get a lot of kids that want to see how to do some very important manipulation in math. Now, this is very important because in the gen chem section, you got to know how to do basic math. And if you can do this type of problem, it's going to help in calculations, such as when you're doing KSP and you need to take square roots. So come on around and let me show you what we're going to have here. Okay, Dr. Monty, you're always doing work. I hear an airplane in the background. I hope they can hear you over this. Okay. If I was to take the square root of 16 to the minus 8, this is straightforward, and most kids would simply say, you're going to take the square root of 16, which is 4, the square root of minus 8 is just half of that, and we get minus 4. So we get 4 to the minus 4, and everyone's happy. Here's where the problems are coming in with ICU kids making. If I said the square root of 1.5 to the minus 13th, as you can see, this is an odd number. So we have a little problem. So the trick is rewrite it in scientific notation, of course. But what you're going to do is a little trick. Move this up by 10 and move this down by 10. So this becomes 15. And if you move this down by 10 to the minus 14th, square root of 15 is approximately the square root of 16, which is 4. Half of minus 14, you got a nice even number, is to the minus 7. You get 4 to the minus 7. Let's that is Dr. Romano. Wow. I if see I, it. If I did the square root of 3.5 to the minus 11, again, you have an odd number. I'm going to move this up by 10. Move this down by 10. Down from negative 11 is negative 12. 3.5 is approximately 35 when you moved it up by 10, which is around 36. So I'll put it approximately. Square root of 36 to the minus 12. Square root of 36 is 6 to the minus 12th to 6th, and boom. Let's do one more. Boom's right, I'm following you. What if I did the square root of 0.4 to the 5th? The minute you see it's an odd number, we're going to rewrite this, move this up by 10, move okay. this down by 10. So okay. it becomes 4 when you, when you went up by 10, when you went down to the 4th power. Square root of 4 is 2, square root of 10 to the 4th is 10 to the 2nd. I hope that gives you a good idea on how I go about doing problems such as this. I think they're very important. You make sure you can do square roots, especially for the Gen Chem section. Gosh, Dr. Romano, thank you. If I know how to do that, I bet I'll get a 30 in the Gen Chem. There's a lot more to know in general chemistry than a simple maneuver like this, but you're on your way. All right, let's get I'm this. glad I'm on my go. way. Are we doing the contest now? Let's get to it. Let me shake it up, Dr. Romano. We got to make this fair. Okay. Okay. Open our official hefty bag. Okay. I'm excited. First thing we do, let's get a name. Okay. All right, here we go. Hold it up so we can see we who have it is. Victoria Simpson. Victoria. There you go. Victoria, Victoria Simpson. Simpson. Congratulations, Victoria. I'll be sending you the 2018 Dat and 2018 Matt Destroyer. I'm going to do one more name. You are? And the reason why is the 2018 book is so important that even kids that are using a 2017 book, you're using a fossil. You're using a book that's outdated. The Dat has changed. There's many new questions I had to add. You're missing a few hundred questions by using an older edition. I had a kid the other day asking me, is the 2007 book good to use? You're missing about five to 700 problems, so you have to be insane using an old edition. So I want you to use the new edition of the book. Um, if you want to cut a corner, cut a corner on a time test. 
Um, don't cut a corner on the Destroyer book. Use the current edition. You'll be sure to ace this exam, and you got me on Facebook to do questions. Let's do one more question. And Dr. Romano remembered the math changed completely 2018. The math has been redone in the Destroyer. Okay, okay. here we go. Ready? Okay, Dr. Romano, drum roll. Who do we All got? Right. I got a I'm name excited. here. Okay, who is it? Merrill Matthew. Okay. Meryl Matthew. Meryl Matthew, you are our second winner. Thank you, Dr. Romano. Do you think we'll do another contest again in the future? I do think so. There's always contests and always fun things going on. So I'll see you guys on study group. I'm going to have some new questions that I made for you. I'm always thinking of new questions on that study group, and I'm really pleased with the way it's going. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye. Good day to you, sir. Oh, Dr. Romano, I'm going to Krispy Kreme for a donut. Would you like one? You look well fed. I don't think you should have any more donuts. Good day. Well, Dr. Romano, I did one today. Can I even have a snack? I need to keep up my energy to do all this chemistry. Bye-bye. Good day to you, sir.